Okay guys, welcome back to the RPG Maker XP tutorials. This is going to go into making map 2 after we made our first cutscene in map 1. So you're going to go over to field, which we made last time, and you're going to see something like this. Ooh, not that though. You guys still do that. I'll do that with you. Um, so the first thing I want to quickly go over, remember we checked out databases very briefly last time. We're going to go in there again real quick. And remember how I told you I would show you where you could see animations? They're right here. So if you want to just see what they look like, you can go through this and that way you'll know what you're doing when you, you put the command in for a certain animation. You'll know what it looks like. So if you want to watch so a special move we did last time, you can just do play hit. That's what it looks like. Um, this time we're going to do this, EM explanation. We'll do doing that in this tutorial, and it'll look like that. So these are animations that will show up not only in just in battle, but also in um, your cutscenes. And hey, while we're in databases, we're going to go ahead and go to, um, we're going to fix something really quick. Um, I want you to go into your classes really quick. So go ahead and click on your, make sure that you're in the events. Click on one of the squares where your character is not going to be transferred to. For the graphic, if you want it to copy what I had, it's number 58. Snake. And we're going to actually make him, um, move animation and we're going to do random. So, okay. Then up here where we started that event before, we're going to click in there. And you should have that change screen color tone right above it. Um, so let's just do a text box. Hi, welcome. Oops. Okay, so then we're going to have him um, go to uh, set player root, which is on number two, and we are going to have the player look at your character, it's a player, and we're going to want to have him, I think that we're down here, so have him look up, because he's going to be looking down when he comes here. So turn up so that he looks at this character when he starts talking. Okay. And then we're going to put some text here. And we're going to say, I'm so glad you are here or whatever you want to write. And we're going to do a wait command for 20 seconds. And then we're going to add in that animation that I showed you just a little bit ago. So we're going to go to show animation. Make sure that you're not on player and that you're on this event, which is event zero, zero, 001. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No. For he want him to say it, not this invisible box over here. So event 002, we want him to do this. And we want him to do the exclamation, which is at the very bottom. And you say, okay, okay. So now he's gonna have that little exclamation mark jump over his face. And then we're going to do a set move root. And we're gonna have event 002, which is this guy. And we're going to have him move toward the player right here and repeat action and say, okay. And then we're going to do a show text. Check out that box over there. We're going to do one more animation. Oh, actually, you know what? We should probably say goodbye, right? So you can either edit this text or you can insert another one. 
I'm leaving. Bye. He's very spicy. Okay. And then we're going to do our animation again. So show animation. We're going to do this guy. So event 002. And we're going to say special move. Then we're going to wait. 20 seconds again. Okay. And we're going to set his transparency to zero so it looks like he disappears. There is other ways you can do this, but we're just going to do this. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to set move here. There we go. So we have to change it to event 002, not the player, because we don't want our player being 0% opacity. 0. Okay. Okay. Now he has disappeared. And we're going to change our music. So let's see. Whatever you want. Um, I don't remember what I changed it to. I think it's positive. O2 or something. We'll go with that. Say OK. You can change it to whatever you like. And then we're going to turn the control switch on. So one. Control switch. Oops. Sorry. Self switch, not just regular. And we want to turn on A, and we're going to say OK. We're going to make a new page. We're going to go to 2. We're going to turn A on, so that when this is all done, it switches over to this, and it's gone. And we're going to say OK. So there's the first one. 